Good news everyone, not only is this video going to be a bit shorter than my usual stuff, but getting a heat pump in the near future could be a lot easier than it has been in the past. Let me show you what I mean. So a few weeks ago there was a press release by the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government uh, talking about the changes to this uh, proposed warm homes plan that's going to be coming in the spring. Now uh, up until now obviously the bus grant which is the boiler upgrade scheme has been um, available for people wanting to replace their gas boiler or other um, fossil fueled powered heating with a heat pump and air to water heat pump. And uh, it was uh, it's great, seven and a half thousand pounds for um, those uh, qualifying installations. Um, but uh, you would often need to go through some quite annoying planning um, uh, applications to um, make sure that you could actually get your heat pump. Now uh, the changes to the warm homes plan um, actually uh, are very interesting because it's going to be removing a lot of those previous restrictions. Um, that have been making a lot of heat pump installations very difficult and annoying up until now. So this uh, is a very brief um, uh, press release, but uh, it's got all of the important pertinent information that uh, I think is relevant. So I'm just going to go through these very quickly for you now. Um, so the uh, up until now, there's been various planning restrictions for getting heat pumps, including a one meter boundary rule. So this is um, people who need to site their heat pump closer than one meter to a boundary for their property would need to get planning permission just by default. But uh, the proposed changes to the warm homes plan mean that that is basically going to uh, get be gotten rid of entirely. So uh, if you have to place your heat pump near to a boundary, you won't have to worry about planning. In addition to that, and this is some slightly less well-known uh, planning restrictions that have been in place up to now, um, previously you could only get uh, one heat pump uh, without planning permission as long as it was less than 0.6 cubic meters in size. Now that is now being increased to 1.5 cubic meters and also if you're in a, uh, a detached house then you can actually get two heat pumps now instead of just the one without planning permission so that's uh, that's ideal. For example in our property here we've got an air to air heat pump system um, but we have two external heat pumps. They don't, uh, their combined total isn't any more than 0.6 cubic meters, uh, that's not a problem, but we are less than one meter from our boundary and we have two heat pumps. So this, uh, these changes, if we were getting that system now, would mean that we would no longer need planning permission, which would be excellent, make life a lot easier. Um, the other very important piece of information um, in this particular press release, which uh, particularly piqued my interest, was this inclusion here, this sentence, which is support the rollout of air-to-air -air heat pumps that can also provide co a cooling function. Now, this is um, uh, very, very good news as far as I'm concerned. Um, we have a, an air-to-air -air heat pump, um, and uh, you know if. Uh, if this is now getting included in the warm homes plan, that sort of suggests, now it's not specifically uh, written uh, in this press release, but this sort of suggests that air to air might be getting included in the boiler upgrade scheme. It's not explicit, but it's suggestive. Now that would be a massive, massive game changer. I think um, restricting the boiler upgrade scheme to just air to water systems it's got some merit. I, I appreciate why they've done it that way up until now, but it means that a lot of homes that simply can't get air to water systems for whatever reason, they might be able to get air to air instead. And this would open up uh, the boiler upgrade scheme for those sorts of houses. Uh, and I think that would massively increase the adoption of heat pump heating systems uh, throughout the UK if, uh, if this turns out to be true. Whether there's going to be any restrictions for this uh, yet to be determined. Um, obviously, we don't have the full details of this until the spring when all of those details for the Warm Homes Plan will get published. But this is um, really, really good news. I think uh, a massive step in the right direction. Um, and if uh, if you can get uh, an air-to-air -air heat pump system installed with a £7,500 grant, I think for a lot of homes, that would actually make it essentially free and ap an absolute no-brainer uh, if you then compare that against um, replacing a gas boiler system, for example. Uh, whether there's going to be restrictions in terms of, you know, for example, one of my commenters who pointed this um, this out to me, which is, uh, thank you very much for that, by the way, um, if there's going to be any restrictions in terms of, for example, if you, in order to qualify for the, an air-to-air -air heat pump uh, grant, maybe you would need solar uh, in combination with that, who knows? Because one of the main objections to including air-to-air in previous versions of the boiler upgrade scheme was that um, they didn't want to encourage cooling in the summer, the use of, uh, of air conditioning basically. 
Uh, whereas if you've got solar, like we've got, then that's a moot point. Like we can run our air conditioning with our own generated solar. So we're not drawing anything from the grid anyway. So uh, maybe that will become a, a restriction uh, in order to get an air-to-air -air heat pump system as well. Who knows? Maybe they'll just straight up go give you the, the grant for just installing air to air who knows um i can rest you can rest assured that i will let you know all of the gory details as soon as i do but uh, yeah i think all of these things are extremely positive developments and uh, i very much look forward to um finding out all the gory details in the spring so yeah very quick video for you there hope you enjoyed it uh, if you've not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and uh, i will see you in the next video